This opportunity to come here to the MHS program means a lot to me just because I am a two-time applicant to PA school and for me I told myself if I didn't get in one more time I would really just change careers. I wanted to find a post baccalaureate program to help strengthen my skills in my competitive and medical school, school. Right, so when I decided that I was going to be a PA, it had been maybe six years since I had looked at a chemistry textbook, uh, six years since I had had to take any of the prerequisites uh, basically that I needed to get into PA. Um, so I really just didn't feel as prepared as I wanted to be um, applying. And I also just wasn't as competitive as an applicant of an applicant that I could be. Um, and so I found the MHS program. I came to Toro, I toured for the PA program, and they told me all about it. And I thought, what a great way to take all of these courses that I'm, that I'm either missing or that I haven't looked at in years and, and get them to be taught to me by the professors at the school that I want to go to. So this program really prepared me um, because they have courses ranging from immunology to microbiology, and those are all essential courses for medical school. One of my favorite parts of the MHS program is the supportive faculty. They have an open door policy here and they're always supportive to us uh, through these very rigorous classes. And another aspect that I really enjoy are my classmates. Um, everyone's really supportive to one another. It's not um, a competitive program or anything like that. We really just want to make sure everyone succeeds um, because we see this program as a stepping stone to our uh, future programs. The courses that were taught at the MHS program really helped me become exposed to the clinical aspect that I had not learned before in undergraduate school. So really being able to utilize that clinical skills and clinical knowledge, I believe that it will be very helpful going forward to medical school. So when I first joined uh, Toro, my expectation was just to provide me the foundation to uh, be competitive. Um, so I was expecting to have just a course load um, to make me look competitive when I applied. Um, what I found was actually a lot more than that. I found uh, professors who actually cared about my education, uh, who cared about my well-being. I've never found a program like this that provided me the experience, the background, as well as that camaraderie that you find in a small cohort. Yeah, I thought, I thought that I was a really good PA candidate when I first came here, and you may be thinking the same thing, which may be true, um, but if you want to kind of build your own skills personally and maybe work on like a work-life balance, you can definitely try the MHS program. Um, there were a couple things from the program that I personally learned. So one, I learned how to more effectively study for my classes. Um, two, I learned about school life balance and like understanding how to take care of myself but also achieve the grades that I wanted. And that wasn't really something that I knew how to do in undergrad. And I'm really grateful for this time to be able to build those skills because once the PA program starts, I know it's very, very fast paced and I'm not sure I'd be able to keep up if I didn't start this program. So this program will help me become successful in medical school uh, because this is the same courses that you'll be expected to learn um, when you enter your first and second year of medical school. So you're taking the same classes that much of your peers are taking who are in osteopathic or even medical school programs. And so you get to see a glimpse of what they're learning and be exposed to it before you enter the program. Because I'm here in the MHS program, I think it's made me a more competitive applicant um, to a point where I got accepted to other programs as well. But because I really enjoyed the family environment here, I know the curriculum and the faculty, I decided to stay here for their PA program because I'm confident that I can become a great PA uh, once I graduate from here. So what I would recommend any MHS students coming into the program is don't take this program for granted. It's one of the hardest things I've done thus far in my life um, in terms of my education, um, but it's offered me an opportunity to enter um, DO school. And so what I would do is make sure I study hard, focus on school, because that's, that's what my goals and aspirations are, but also enjoy the process. You only go through this program once in a lifetime, so try to make it a memorable one, um, but also at the same time focus on your goals and dreams and don't let anyone stop you.
You know, on my way here, I was talking to my dad, and we were talking about all of the, the steps that I had to take to get where I wanted to go, which was PA school. And it all could have gone sideways. It all easily could have gone sideways with the pandemic and all of the things that I had planned that had to get delayed because of that. But now I'm here and I'm going to PA school and MHS got me there. Um, so I feel ecstatic, I feel happy, I feel a little bit silly, I don't know why. Uh, just excited and all, all of the emotion is, is running high and um, I just couldn't be happier to be here and to be moving on to PA. I feel, I feel like this is so unreal. Uh, just three years ago, I was applying to PA school for the first time and I got my first rejection. And the year after that, still rejection. And after rejections and a lot of self-doubt, I'm finally standing here on the stage, proud to say that I'm starting my journey on the PA program here at Toro University. I think MHS has been the best decision of my life. I would not be able to accomplish my dreams if it weren't for the help of the school and the help of this program.